Hey everyone, this is Hello. Stephanie who has Hello. never been to Overjoy Art Store before so today we are going to do some art supplies shopping. So cool. <laughs> <laughs> she has never been to the previous <laughs> store and the new store. Yeah. I'm always at Art yeah. Friend. Uh, she's an illustrator by the way. Hello. Yeah, so later on I'm going to ask her some questions about her work as well. So what kind of work do you do? You are freelancer, right? A lot of uh, murals, oh, okay. commissions. Mostly my clients have pet related items. <laughs> pet related. Um, I saw some of your videos where you draw on the walls. Yes. Are those at your clients' yes. homes? Yes, mostly homes, some oh. cafes. But you draw with markers? Marker or wallpaper. So I give them an option to choose. To choose la, but, but they're both permanent. Oh, but you have to present the design for them to see yes. first. Oh, okay. So these are some of the fountain pen inks, but these are not waterproof. Huh? Which brand do you use? Dr. PH Martin. PH Martin. Right? Martin. <laughs> but you use it. Rusted by me. My name. What's this? So this I got this. Thing. It's a quill. You know Harry Potter, they write with a quill. Oh. But you notice in the show, they have a, a metal nib at the end. Oh. So traditionally, there wasn't a nib oh, last time. Okay. So in the olden days, right, they actually cut this to write. Oh. So I got this from a friend and it must be a thick. It must it be must thick, thick enough. Yeah, oh, so you so can try strong. and write. Oh, so okay. I'm gonna give you some to try. Oh okay, thank you very much. So what but color I'm, what color is the bird? I'm pretty sure it's red and a bit of blue. Oh the a those red blue and blue yeah. Yeah, I know those. They're birds, very noisy. They are very big also. Yeah. Yeah. So they, it must be a tail feather that's very big oh, or tail, flight feather. Oh okay, it's a tail, tail feather or this, the bird tail. or the wing. Yeah, the wing must be the flight one, that's so why it must be thick. Oh okay. But do the feathers actually drop by they themselves? Drop, they drop by themselves. Oh. It's not pull out. No, oh. <laughs> no animal cruelty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay use a exacto knife, right? I think better. You cut slant. So it looks like a fountain pen. So the, the point is sharper. Yes, sharper. Oh. Then you make a little slit at the end. Uh -huh. And then um, there's something inside that you have to pull out and then you dip into the ink and you draw and write. Oh, but uh, what do you buy too? In case I lose one because <laughs> I'm very prone to losing my pen. As for me, I'm looking for a Kuretake Cambio brush pen that a viewer has suggested that I should test and review. Okay, I use Pilot Jumbo markers for permanent uh -huh. and it's really permanent. Permanent. Yeah, I tried washing it with soap. Oh. Okay. Because there's one day I have to paint over my studio, the old studio. Oh. Okay. So I tried all sorts of washing and oh, it's permanent. Okay. Is it easier to draw with marker or um, brush? Marker is a lot faster, so easier wise, of course it's easier. Oh, it's all, it also dries very fast. It right? dries very fast instantly. And, but the difference is there's a brush texture and marker texture. Oh yeah. uh, Marker is more solid lines, mm. and brush is um, you call brush strokes and brush oh. will take longer to dry and sometimes you have to go over twice oh, because okay. I use wall paint which mm. is the Nippon washable one okay. so it's also washable yes wash but if you want to paint over right you have to go like many coats of white oh but if you use the brush you will have to constantly reload the yes. brush also right you have to constantly dip and dip so it takes a lot longer yeah yeah, yeah. and it's also very and my brush is size six oh this is fine okay it's fine I like to draw my stuff small, so I find it's good. <laughs> but how do you even lose your fountain pens? You'll be amazed. Uh, okay, some of them dried up. Oh. And then the, even the head, everything is like dried. Oh, but I think some of the fountain pens you can actually dismantle them and then clean out. I did, but it didn't flow as well. Oh, <laughs> or you can buy the fountain pen cleaning liquid, then you just oh, put I've never it. Tried that. Yeah, you can put it inside, and then it will actually dissolve the ink. It's. It's quite effective. So Stephanie likes to draw dogs and cats. I like to draw cat butt. So you can have like, this random cat here. And then this butt. Oh. How about so you actually have I actually have to study like um anatomy, anatomy <laughs> and how oh. they look. But you have you have your pets to pose for you, right? Yes I do. They're very funny. Oh. What's the difference between cat butt and dog butt? It's the same, just a male or female one. <laughs> 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 so that's how you can yeah. that. But how do you use this? This is not easy to use. I mean, what can you write? With this? It's calligraphy. I write very big, bold strokes. Huh? It doesn't have lines, ah. Uh. Lines? Oh, what I do you thought, mean lines? I thought they come with like horizontal lines. No, the the ones to hold the ink. The horizontal, horizontal. the vertical slits are to hold the ink. It looks like a middle finger. Yes. I'm just wondering if I buy this, what am I going to draw? What can, you draw? What can, I, yeah, what can I draw with claws like this? 
real? No idea. I'm not a bird enthusiast. <laughs> so what I found out right is they usually don't use too long. Mm. They make it shorter. So that's easier. So it's easier, it's not very hard to write. Wash tapes are the tapes with design. Nah. <laughs> These are the true washi tapes. The one with true. pattern. Yeah. With pattern. Yeah. Kata kata tape. If you, if, you are, if you want to tape, watercolor paper is those watercolor tape. So it's under the watercolor section I believe. Yeah. yeah. You use watercolor? Yeah, I do. But I've never gone over the edge because I don't have this. Oh. Okay. And then if I go over the edge and I want a border, right, ah. it's not a straight border because I just use the brush. Oh, okay. <laughs> so besides wall mirror, what else? What, what kind of art do you, do you do? I do portraits, commission oh. portraits, portraits. And I do merchandise. So oh. I turn my characters into merchandises. Oh, I heard that's not easy, right? You have to make your own pillows. Yeah, okay. do merchandise it's and. There's it's always a... the supplier issue and oh. um, not only that, there's also uh, inventory problem. Oh yeah, inventory problem. <laughs> like where are you know. going to store all your things and then the more you order, the cheaper it is. So there's always a... Oh, you don't make on demand? No, you don't make on demand. So things are... Uh, cost uh, price is always cheaper if you do in bulk. Yeah, but if you do in bulk, then you have to find place to store there. And t-shirt is the most um, not worth doing huh? because... It's not all doing t-shirts oh. in Singapore. People rather go Thailand or Uniqlo to buy. Oh, okay. It's so cheaper. It, oh, okay. And each t-shirt has different size. Oh, okay. So, and different size and different color. It depends, <laughs> it depends on the t-shirt. If you have like fans, then they will want to buy a t-shirt with your drawings on it. I took very long to sell my t-shirt. Oh, okay. That's why I know that it's not worthy. <laughs> so, if you want to start a t-shirt, uh, I will oh, not advise. Unless you have a... Unless you have your own printing machine to do it yourself. Unless you have a lot of fans. Yes. <laughs> and a lot of fans. <laughs> Even then, right? Huh. There's always the problem of the huh. size. Then you have to measure the size oh, for them. Oh, okay. Size, just do medium size. Yeah. No, <laughs> the ladies will be like, "Do you have extra small?" Oh. And there are men that like, "Do you have extra ah. large?" <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> Pentel watercolor pastels, and it's not very expensive. Also, fourteen dollars and seventy-seven cents. So what do you usually buy at art, art friend? Paper. Oh. A lot of paper. What paper do you use? Canvas. Can, a lot of canvas. Like sometimes they want me to draw, they don't want a mural. Mm -hmm. So they rather I draw on a canvas so that they can hang it up and if they move house, they can move it around. Oh. So I will go there and buy the biggest canvas. Oh, okay. It makes sense. And carry it home. Oh. And for that, I will use a permanent marker. What's the most tiring project you have done? A full colored wall painted with wall um with painted with what? Fully painted with Nippon paint, full color. Oh. It's an animal art for a baby room. Oh. It took me five days. Five days of standing. Of standing and climbing up and down the ladder. Oh wow. And because it's you are using wall paint, right? Unlike uh -huh. acrylic, it's uh -huh. uh, water based, so you have to go through like different coats, like some colors. You really need to go through many coats. Because the colour is yeah. not strong enough. It's too translucent. Oh, too translucent. Okay. So you have to go through like one layer dry and then another layer. Oh, yeah. to make the colour more vibrant. Mm. Oh, okay. Wow. Not easy. But how do you get the designs on the wall? Do you just draw straight to the wall or do you Usually project I, pencil first? Um, most of the time, if the client is not fussy, I will uh. just draw whatever. They let me draw whatever I want. Oh, okay. But if um, they have a concept in mind, so I, I will draft out first and uh. I will pencil. <laughs> so what do you think of Overjoy, <laughs> your first time here? It's interesting, it's a lot different from Art Friends. Yeah. Actually more spacious also. Yeah. And a lot of fountain pens. Spotlight is above um, Agaza Singapura. It's also at Nasha. Yeah. Okay. <gasps> I should bring you to Spotlight. I've never been to Spotlight. I've never heard of Spotlight. <laughs> it's a craft store. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, she has a YouTube channel. Yeah. Yep. So I'll put a link to her channel in That's the video right. description below. Yeah. I noticed that this this bag has two pom -pom. soft balls. <laughs> so it's to tell you to sterilize your cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Alright, that was a pretty productive trip. I managed to get a few feathers from Stephanie for drawing, so thank you very much. And thanks for watching, see you in the next video. Bye!